I'm Julia Alvarez, and this is Afterlife, the novel that tells the story of a Dominican-American woman, Antonia Vega, who is planning a happy, secure retirement with her husband, when overnight, her world just falls apart. I was really interested in the title. What is the message there for all of us? You know, there are many little deaths in our lives. We all die many little deaths to our old selves, to our certainties, but there is an afterlife after that. But what kind of an afterlife? That we can help shape. How do we come through things with a larger version of ourselves? How, how does that happen? How do we stay open? And part of it is to be honest with ourselves. You know, that's what you can bring to the larger community, being who you are, because no one else is going to be you. You paved the way for so many young Latin writers and so many young writers in general. How do we make sure that young writers following in your footsteps are assured that all of their stories are heard and have value and need to be in, in the marketplace? By being readers and supporting these uh, writers. The, the activism isn't left for the editors and the publishing houses only. You are contributing to that by the simple act of supporting the author yourself. We all need to be at the same time that we're fighting in our struggles, thinking about how to create a more beloved community. And one of them is to allow people in, you know, allow their stories in because people want to close it down thinking it'll diminish it. It will only make it richer. It will only make our culture more vibrant and more viable. What would you want readers to take away from your body of work? I want my, my readers, I want them to feel accompanied in this journey of being a human being. I want them to feel the vibrancy and intensity of narrative that, that touches bottom in their hearts and souls and in their psyches. This has been wonderful. It's an honor to have you and to speak with you, and I really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for taking the time to give life to Afterlife. And thank you for watching A Word on Words. I'm JT Ellison. For more of my conversation with Julia Alvarez, visit our website, awordonwords.org, and keep reading. Kids, they won't keep reading if they're bored. If, if a passage goes on too long, they will let you know it. So I think that writing for younger readers teaches you a kind of uh, efficiency in the writing.